Tell me about the above ground pool, uh, what it was stocked with and what you guys would do. Well, as I was growing up, I had some cousins who were, uh, for lack of a better word, white trash. <laughs> and yeah, they had a lot of things. They had some snowmobiles and pieces laying around outside. They had a pool. And at one point they put some fish in it and uh, yeah, went fishing in it. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not really sure why, but I'll tell you, if you don't have uh, video games as a kid and you have to just figure out what to do, you come up with some good ideas. How about hunting from the aluminum boat? Yeah, my dad had this bright idea that he would uh, make squirrel hunting easier by just getting a boat, and so we would float <laughs> down the river. And to me, it sort of took away from the fun, because I like to be out and walking around in the woods, but my dad thought it was easier if we just sit there. But <laughs> it sort of isn't fair. I mean, it's really not fair anyway, you're shooting squirrels, but when they can't hear you coming from the boat, it just becomes a joke. How successful are <laughs> you guys? Quite successful, but the problem then is you end up with a bunch of squirrels that you have to clean, and I didn't really like squirrels in the first place. You made good use of it though, right? Well, yeah, we ate them, but I didn't, they're not that good. Have you eaten squirrel? No. Yeah, don't. I'll take your word. <laughs> <laughs> so at 17, uh, you had 17 years old, you go to France as part of the uh, U.S. team competing in the World Championships. Uh, I understand you had some fun with Roman candles? I would say the entire experience, my first time in France, was pretty traumatic. I didn't, I wasn't prepared for any of it. I didn't know, I just didn't know anything about it. I got on a plane and I ended up at some place where everything was foreign, literally. And I was really obsessed with my bike at that point. I really wanted to be professional. And a lot of the kids that get involved in cycling at that age are, are often encouraged to do so by their parents who are also into cycling. And so to them, it was more of a fun trip. We're gonna go race the world championships and drink beer because there's no drinking age. And, and the entire thing to me was, uh, ended up not being about bicycle racing at all. By the time the race came along, I was just exhausted because I don't think I slept and I didn't really like the food and I was just trying to figure out what was actually going on. Um, but we did have some fun. One friend of mine, his name was Michael Riley, and I, the one junior kid that I got along with really well, um, he and I found some, <laughs> so what we thought were Roman candles, we thought they were fireworks, uh, the little local store. We stayed in this little town about 15 miles from where the race was. Um, but we couldn't read what the warning said. It was in French, so we just thought we would put them on the street and light them. But they turned out, I don't know what they were. They turned out to be dynamite of some kind. I don't know why they sell these at the 7-Eleven. <laughs> but uh, the first, few, first time we did it, we were not prepared for it at all. So we had to go run and hide and pretend that we didn't know what happened. We got a lot of questions, but we, no one figured out it was us. But then it just became fun because then we knew what we were doing. So we spent some time as terrorists.